So, if we're playing with Advanced Fighting Fantasy 2nd Edition, how on earth are we going to create an adventure for ourselves? Well, fortunately, there is a dungeon generator at the back, which is very handy indeed. So we can find our mission here on the 2D6 table. That's Fight X7. Recover a treasure. Excellent, we can do that. We need to find a treasure, so let us... Uh, Look to the greatest of all MacGuffin books. So, um, yeah, I think we can roll a d10. Find out what kind of thing it is. That's four. So we are in the... It's a weapon. Excellent. And it's a d100, which is 94. Three, nine, four is a patchwork sling. A sling made from a patchwork of colourful fabrics. Every missile launched from this sling carries a random mag mag magical effect. The sling was crafted by an enchanter's apprentice. She took her tutor's project scraps and sewed them into a magically unstable sling, which she gifted to her younger brother. Now clearly this is a uh, an important item for our uh, our village, perhaps. Perhaps it's been taken. Perhaps it serves as a sort of uh, a sort of lucky charm for the village. And uh, Reese Trevelyan is going to set off like the hero he is and uh, try and find it. But we need to create the dungeon where it's going to be. And for that, we need a copy of Sorcerer King or any similarly sized box. And we're going to do a dice drop. That's rubbish. I'm going to try that again. I'll just go... Okay, near enough. Let's just squeeze them in a little bit. And we'll work with that. So the surrounding terrain... Oh, yeah. uh, it's on an island. Okay. And the architecture of this dungeon is... Special. Worm tunnels. Magical excavations. Possibly. It was created by a giant sandworm. Um, yeah, okay. So these numbers refer to how many exits. So one or two, there is one. So perhaps this goes to here. There's only one exit here. Okay. And there are three exits here. So perhaps, and two here. So perhaps one goes down here, the other exit goes to here, and there's one across here, and there's another passage going down to here, joining that one up. Okay. And as this is a, a solo game, we're going to discover the contents of the dungeon as we go. So we are descending, having travelled to this island in our little boat, we're descending into these caves under the sandstone on or just off the beach, which were originally carved out by an enormous sandworm. They're a little bit angular, but that's just for my benefit, mapping and such. So we have some charts here. We can decide if there is a, a trap or not. So um, we'll do that first of all in this room. That is a two. There is no trap. Or feature so but there is going to be a monster and we're rolling on dungeon level one. Ooh, 16 that's a granite so these happy little chaps are granites these uh, strange little scorpion type crab things and that's their uh, skill and stamina and uh, Advanced Fighter Fantasy contains all the weapons and armour rules for all of the monsters in Out of the Pit. So in accordance with the uh, version 2 rules, the uh, granite has a small bite and medium armour and minuses takes away one from its damage roll. So um, all the rules for all the monsters in Out of the Pit are included in here to uh, adapt them. So we've come face to face with four of these 
strange crab creatures and we're going to have to uh, have a bit of a fight. So we're fighting multiple enemies here. So I'm going to choose to attack and do damage to uh, the number one granite. So I'm rolling against him, adding my... Hmm. Actually, I think I can get off a bow shot before they close for melee. So with this first round, I'm going to use my bow instead. So that gives me a 9 for that. The uh, granite has a skill of 4. Now the way missile combat works in 2nd edition Advanced Fighting Fantasy is the same as melee, but if the enemy does not have a missile weapon, you don't get damaged if you lose. So I'm uh, I'm rolling. Um, I'm adding seven for my skill and an extra two for my bow skill. So nine, ten, sixteen. And the uh, granite that I'm aiming at also rolls and gets a nine. So I beat him. If he had won, he would not have uh, rolled to hit to damage me. He would have just dodged out of the way. But if he'd have had a missile weapon and he'd have won, then he would have hit me. So I roll for my damage. So I roll a d6 for my damage. That is one, so that's two damage on the chart. But their armour is medium, so they roll a five, and that soaks up two damage. So that's really disappointing. Anyway, now they're going to close in this next round for melee, so uh, it's going to get nasty. So with my sword, which I uh, draw from my scabbard, I begin uh, attacking all four of them. So I'm going to damage, try and damage the first one. So that's not good. Um, <laughs> 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. He, I, I do damage him, so I roll for that. And that's a six on my sword, that's four damage. He rolls his armour. He rolls a two, which doesn't defend anything. So he is defeated, that one. But these others are also going to hit me in this round. So in order to hit my, uh, beat my 13, these have got to get a ten or more. So number two. Number three and number four. Okay, they all miss. Now I'm going to attack number two, adding an eight. Fourteen this time. So they have to roll uh, an eleven or more to beat me. Wow, that was too close, number two. So I do hit number two, and that's equal actually, so we don't do each other any damage. Okay, this guy is heading for a 11 or more to actually hit and damage me. He does. So he rolls a 2. That is um, 2 points of damage. I roll for my armour, which is rubbish. Yeah, I lose 2, two stamina. So, not good. And the final one. Almost, almost hits me. Okay, we go to the next round. I'm attacking, I'm trying to damage the same one. 12 total, that's awful. So the second one that I'm hitting. Uh, okay, I do hit him. I roll for damage. I get a uh, three damage. He rolls for his armour and he so he loses two. He's down to one. Now the others try and attack. That is a hit. Third one has hit me. That's four. Three points of damage. My armour's rubbish. Oh no, no. Two points of damage. Could have been worse. And the final one. Eleven. That is too close by half. I'm trying to finish off 
granite number two. Eleven, that's it. <laughs> My roll's getting progressively worse. So. Nine, that's good. I do hit him. I roll the two for my damage, which is um, three points of damage. His armor is quite good, though. Uh, but no, he is defeated. There are merely two left. They are attacking me in this round. Wow, that's a hit. Um, he hits me for two. And I do not save on the armor, so I'm down to 10 hit points. And the other one. Wow. That is just 11, so he doesn't actually hit me. So we're going for number three of the remaining two. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, back up to 14, that's quite high. So this first guy needs an 11 to hit me. Oh, way too close. But I do. Uh, I, I only tie with him, so I don't actually do him any damage. So we, the next guy attacks and misses. I'm uh, not doing well. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 again. Against this one that I'm trying to hit. He gets a 12, so I beat him. And I roll a 2, which is 3 damage. His armour soaks up two of that, so he only takes one. And the other one attacks me and misses. So I'm going through number three again. Uh, <laughs> 17 that time. Okay, things looking up. Uh, he rolls and adds a four. That's a 14. I hit him. I do. Three points of damage. He rolls for his armour and fails on that. So I wipe him out. There's only one remaining. And he rolls, adds his four and does not beat me. So I'm faced with the final granite. I roll badly. 12. That's, yep, pretty bad. And he rolls even worse, so that's good. I roll three for my damage. That's a three stamina damage to him, unless he rolls his armor, which he doesn't. So I wipe out the final granite. That felt weirdly epic for these uh, funny little crab dudes. Vicious little swines. But before we crack on with any more stuff, um, this contains, as well as the ordinary fighting fantasy magic rules, it also contains the spells from the sorcery books as well. And it contains a little um, uh, bestiary, as well as having notes for all of the monsters in Out of the Pit. It also has uh, some stats for a little bestiary of its own. It contains a lot of information about the fighting fantasy world, uh, particularly Alancia. Apparently, oh, it's got a cool when spells go wrong table, which is great. An orc materializes beside the caster and is very angry, that kind of thing. Uh, it has pre-generated characters. It's got rules for all your special skills. It's got lots of pre-gens here. That you can have from some fun with. It has a built-in little uh, adventure at the beginning which you can go through. Very good stuff. So these are the uh, stats for the monsters included in the book here as well as having the special compatibility rules for all of the monsters in uh, Out of the Pit. So well, that's a pretty uh, Pretty decent collection when you consider how few you get in Fantasy Age. And uh, we, we won't even talk about how many you get in Dragon Roll. So that's not bad at all. Nice little mixture there. And although the uh, 
The system is sort of classless, so you can build your own character using the special skills that you can choose. It has um, a sort of a point allocation um, system for creating your characters, but it does include random dice roll character creation as an optional rule if you want to do that, so that's pretty cool. You can be a human, a dwarf, or an elf. So, um, you know, all the usual bases are covered, apart from halflings and gnomes. So let's head off into, let's head off down this passageway and see what's in here. So, roll for a feature, that's a six, that's an other feature. So if we roll on this other feature roll, a chart I mean, it's a kitchen. So I think we will be able to find another provision. So uh, instead of uh, instead of eating one of our provisions, we're going to eat the food that's here. So uh, let us go back up to 12 stamina. So as we have uh, the awareness skill, and we're not bad at it, it's nine or less, uh, seven from our skill and two from the awareness, so that's nine. We're going to check out these two doors here and we're going to see which one, if we can hear anything or smell anything of uh, the creatures or whoever took the um, special item from our village, the uh, patchwork sling. So let's check on some modifiers for that. I mean, we're going to have something like a candle down here, but um, it's not going to be amazing. So uh, we're going to take minus two to our awareness. So that will give us a seven or less that we've got to roll to see if we can find where the tracks are to these baddies. Wow, that's awful. No, we don't. So um, we're going to go here from the kitchen and hope for the best. And that is an ordinary room. So what monster is in this room? 12. It's a giant rat. So there's only three of them, which isn't bad. And they don't have any armor, so that's uh, really awesome. So I'm going to fire off a bow <laughs> to begin with. So that is nine plus, well, um, 20. And the first rat isn't going to beat that. So I hit him with my bow, which does four damage. And as he's got no armor, that kills him immediately. Awesome. There are just three left. So now we're going to close for melee. And I'm going to fire off. I'm going to start hacking with my sword. That's eight plus. 12. Oh gosh, these have got five skill, they're a bit better than the other ones. So, first one of the survivors gets a 10. So, I actually do damage that one because I'm attacking that one. I roll one, but that gives me two damage, and that reduces him a little bit. The other one, which I'm not hitting also rolls a 10, so that was lucky. Now for our next one, I'm going to attack the same one again. Oh gosh, <laughs> not very good am I? 14. So, okay, that's 10. That's good. I hit the one I'm trying to hit. I only do two damage, but that does finish him off. And the other one attacks me in this round. Oh, that's 15. He actually does hit me and he does three damage. My armor is not very good. Nope, I lose three. I'm down to nine stamina. Okay, I take on this final one. Oh my goodness. Ten, that's awful. Gotta roll the f yeah five five or more or six or more. Um, he rolls two, doing me two damage. My armor does not help me, so I'm down to seven, battling away against this giant rat. 
I roll to 12. That's better than last time. And he rolls, adding his 5. 11. I beat him by 1. It's really fortunate. And that's a 6. That is a 4, four damage. So uh, I wipe him out. That was really bad. I'm going to sit here after I've killed those rats and uh, eat some provisions, taking me back up to nine stamina. So I was convinced that one of these passages leads to the uh, quest end, but it is clearly not this room. It, it must be this room. Now, is this another fight or is it something more interesting? It is um, an ordinary room. Okay, we've avoided the traps, but we've not been very well at avoiding, avoiding monsters. So the final battle will be against... Oh my goodness. I don't want granites again. I'll, I'll re-roll. Get something different. Six is flesh grub. Ah, uh, that doesn't make sense. Who would have stolen um, something like this? What's a scorn? What's that? Is that a good, as an interesting baddie? The kind of person that would have stolen a uh, patchwork sling? Um, no, it's not, not particularly uh, intimidating. Just over a metre high, it's not... Um, let's say... With those giant rats, let's say it's a rat man that has stolen this item and uh, he is the uh, person we've got to defeat to get it back. Okay, I rolled for six of them, so I don't like my chances. I'm going to try and negotiate. Now, a sling is worth three gold pieces and uh, two gold pieces in a village. This is a patchwork sling, although it is magic, it does look like a patchwork sling. I have nine gold pieces. Uh, I don't want to fight them. I think nine gold pieces is reasonable for a sling. It looks like a quirky sling. They probably don't know it's magical, but they are unfriendly. I think it is a reasonable offer. Let's say acceptable. Uh, but we're going to get a minus three. Mm. Yeah, the fact that they're unfriendly will give us a minus three. That will be four or <laughs> less on a d on 2d6 um i'm going to offer them my potion of stamina as well so yeah i'm I'm only going to give it minus one, I think, because it's a magical potion of stamina. I'm going to give it minus one, all told. So six or less. OK, that's not good. I'm going to, as a last resort, I'm going to go resort to my luck and say... But what if I throw in the sword as well? Is, is that a bargain? So if I put a minus three to my look due to their unfriendliness, I try to roll a seven or less. Oh gosh. This fight's not going to end well. So as I'm holding out this stamina potion and my sword, I will neck 
the stamina potion and attack them with my sword because that's the only way this is going to go. Okay, that's a 17. That's a good start. I'm attacking the first one. He rolls a 15. I hit him with my sword for three damage. His armor is light, so that's two damage. This is going to be such a long fight. I won't show you all of it, I promise. And the others then attack me. Miss for number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. They all swing at me and miss. Well, I'm not going to sit here rolling dice all night for these six rat men. So um, we're going to say I'm going to fight my way out and basically run for it. I didn't manage to, because um, if, if you fight defensively you can add two to your rolls each time, so I'm just going to say that I had to escape without recovering the patchwork sling, because um, yeah, that's a lot of dice rolling that I will need to do. So uh, I should have uh, kept my enemies to lower numbers, but um, this contains such a lot of good stuff. It apparently has the rules from Dungeoneer, Port Black Sand, and um, Alancia. So the rules from this, the rules from this, and the rules from Alancia, which is insanely expensive if you can find it at all. So apparently all the rules from those are included in here. Um, all the, you know, the priestly spells, the ordinary magic spells, and the sorcery spells. A bit about the Pantheon of Titan, and... Uh, some maps of the uh, various lands of Titan and Alancia. There we go. And uh, full of great stuff. Um, Graham Botley has done an amazing job with this. Um, pretty awesome. Pretty much everything you'd ever need. Um, but you can get either the old, the old version of Out of the Pit or the advanced fighting fantasy version of Out of the Pit for all your monstrous needs, more monsters than you can shake a stick at. A really fun system, I like Advanced Fighting Fantasy anyway, but the characters always felt a bit overpowered, but this um, this controls them quite nicely. Uh, and as you could see, I was having a bit of a struggle against those monsters, so uh, yeah, good stuff.